Yo, what is going on, you spaghetti shuppet? Today I woke up and I wanted to play some ADP. I can't explain it. I don't know why. I usually don't want to play ADP. Very rarely want to play ADP. So let's go ahead and let's get into some games and let's get it out of my system. My list, nothing super special. Um, rocking the escape ropes recently over switches. So no switch for escape rope. Double Mawile. Been a huge fan of the double Mawile. It's a ton of fun to, uh, you know, <laughs> captivating wink. Not just once in a game, but twice in a game. Um, so heavy on the cherish ball because of that as well. Because we have, you know... Heavier Mawile for Cherish Ball is really nice to find those. Also helps find ADP and Adene, so Cherish Ball is just really good in general in the deck. But yeah, nothing super special. I'm sure a lot of your guys' ADP lists that you've played or played up against are about the same. So yeah, nothing special to really say about the list. So once again, let's get it in some games and let's get this uh, urge to play ADP out of my system. All right, here we go, getting into our first game. We did win the coin flip, so we will go first, because why not? Usually pretty good to go first as ADP. Uh, opening hand, Mulligan. So we got to send that back. And look at our opponent mulliganed as well. So we'll get to take a look at what our opponent's rocking. Got the ADP start, which is always nice. Um, so that was our mulligan. Um, our opponent is playing greens, Zard. Oh, no. Opening ADP is not what we want to do. We also don't want to go first against greens, Zard as well. <laughs> it's actually a pretty bad matchup for uh, ADP Zation. This is not a good matchup at all, actually, for ADP Zation. So we're going to have a tough go of it. Not going to lie. Um... Got the top deck quick ball, which is really nice, though, actually. Uh, what do I want to quick ball away is kind of the question. I got the GX attack on the street. We have the, our Marnie in our hand as well to start off with. Um, I don't want to Mawile them. Mawile early against Green Zard is not very good. I could just quick ball away. Metal energy, I guess. The rest of the hand's pretty good. I kind of like the rest of the hand. Get the Zacian, get those extra cards, and I'll attach a water. I doubt they play Crushing Hammer. They could, but we have a backup water to work with. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. We actually got Escape Rope Air Balloon, which could be really good at disrupting our opponent on the next turn and, like, forcing up something a little bit more awkward. Although we do kind of want to KO the Baby Volcanion uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, a play that my opponent can actually make is they can actually go for, like, a turn two high heat blast with a boss KO on my Zacian. Um, so we don't want that to happen. Yeah, this matchup is, like, close. It's close. Or not close. It's, it's good for them. <laughs> it's, like, hard for us to keep up. I don't know why I said close. It's not close... Um, although if you play well and your opponent, you know, doesn't draw really well, anything can be close pretty, for the most part, yeah. So we can always hope on our opponent not drawing super well. But, uh, yeah, definitely an unfavorable matchup. Let me correct myself there. Unfavorable, um, early power plant. Now, I don't play a chaotic swell. Now, I do play two crowbat, though. I'm a big fan of the double crowbat in ADP Zation. So we have that to work with, um, for us. We have the double crowbat, but yeah. Um, one of the big things in this matchup is going uh, going second, actually, is ADP, because they don't get to do this flare starter play, which is so ridiculously strong um, for Green Zard. Yeah, yeah. So they have, uh, and also they got like Torn Energy Spinner, like everything. Everything's working well for them so far. But we got the top deck energy, and we got the Marnie, so we can disrupt their hand uh, and hopefully pull ourselves a little bit ahead here. We'll see what we draw into. Hand is, uh, yikes. Um, <laughs> not great. Um, Rusted Sword, not good either. Let's just go with that. Altered Creation, I think. I don't think there's a reason to really play anything else. Altered Creation, hope for a top deck on the next turn. Of course, with this power plant in play, though, our top decks are a little limited. Um, top decking something like, uh, you know, Cherish Ball, not going to do it to Dene, not going to be very good as well. So we have a li more limited top decks because of, ooh, and they already got the Scoop Up Net. So that's like the, the play you want here from Green's Hard is the Scoop Up Net on the what's it called there's the big charm we can't even ultimate right oh but they put a hearth in play for us um so now our top deck's a little bit more open not you don't have infinite top decks but that's not i wouldn't i wouldn't have done that <laughs> i don't know why they gave us or got rid of power plant this turn i guess they didn't attach for turn yet here yeah they did well there okay so i guess that makes us they want to attach for turn here um i think they could have waited a turn on that maybe um because now all of a sudden if i top deck the dene uh yeah interesting choice from my opponent for sure um definitely wouldn't recommend we're unfortunately gonna lose our rusted sword though that's terrible losing our rusted sword here is awful maybe i shouldn't have put this air balloon here quite yet but i want the idea of a pivot in play or i like the idea of a pivot in play um yeah losing our rusted sword here is just just actually awful 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 um i actually kind of want the second adp set up i'm gonna go ahead and mawile take a look while their energy okay good to know second adp Metal Saucer over to the Mawile, I think, is going to be a little bit better. I actually don't know if it's, like, that much big of a difference. Yeah, not being able to put Rusted Sword in play to be able to one-hit KO this Rushy Zard puts us in a bad spot. Um, so, yeah, losing that Rusted Sword is huge, but we need to be able to ultimate raid this turn, which we did get, so that's good. Um, 
kind of shout out to my opponent for putting the <laughs> for putting the giant hearts in play and maybe i shouldn't have attached them all while now i'm kind of rethinking that mawile attachment to be honest i don't know why i attached them all while you can e-switch it off later i don't need to e-switch it off right now though i don't think uh and ultimate ray okay here we go ultimate ray punch the reshizard hit three metal i could have actually benched this station a little bit this thing but i don't want to load up my bench too much i don't want my, to become, my bench to become awkward we need to set up this adp though um so maybe i should go with something like and hit a metal saucer should i go like this instead go metal metal water um get the water because the water is the hardest thing to find and get to use so it won't be that hard to use to get or use but i feel like metal saucer e-switch but i can't do that to get the water so i think this is a little bit better um overall so let's go with that go metal metal and then a water here and then we can like e-switch this energy off here uh and then water energy here i guess what was i saying i think that's what i was saying yeah yeah i don't know why i put this on the mall while it doesn't make a whole ton of sense to be honest uh, it's not gonna be too punishing i don't think here in the long run but it, yeah don't do that why'd i do that um losing my eldegoss here would kind of stink because i would like the option to be able to marnie my opponent i guess i can just marnie them next turn cool scrapper on my air balloon a little bit late i would like it if they had done that last turn <laughs> so i could have put a, a rusted sword there but maybe because they saw the rusted sword is why they did it they will probably go with Ooh, they got rid of the pokey gear with the hearth which is interesting i wonder what those those two, those two cards must be pretty good if they did that so here comes the outrage knockout so all right now our game plan is uh brave blade knockout and then we need to go into um another knockout here would be a good time to mawile actually i think we might go with a mawile here um about as good as time as any let's go with that especially now that we topic this research like let's see if the mawile can do something for us get a baby vault on the bench maybe yes okay this is huge with the baby vault on the bench now we can go ko the active and then ko the baby vault on the following turn i could have actually gone for an ultimate ray here couldn't i have ultimate ray i could still go for an ultimate ray here um anything else to grab with this oh i could still go for an ultimate ray here and oh but then they could ko me with this uh, i didn't fully see their hand but they could top deck welder and double blaze for 300 so i guess that's not worth the risk probably so we're just gonna move this energy up to here and then i'll play the research now if we go ko this with Bray blade and then uh ko it with this on the next turn we're in a great spot so that's like our game plan here go ahead and energy spinner just grab another water i think that's fine to just go ahead and grab the water for this um set up a pivot on the dene metal saucer to the mawile and then hold the hand i could use crobat here to be honest because um we could also crobat next turn so using crobat this turn and then crobat next turn actually kind of works out we go quick ball away the escape rope because i could put down another reshi to play around escape rope but they might not do that so i almost want to hold the hand because of that but i think i should i could keep the quick ball in that so i could go like this oh my crowbat is prize but i am drawing four prize cards but now i'm a little bit torn on that decision to be honest but i think i am going to go with the crowbat draw here um play the cherish ball have the dene um i also want to play a quick ball to thin these two out of the deck I'm probably gonna get stamped next turn. Although maybe I wanted the Dene in the deck, to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, Brave Blade knockout. We're gonna get four prize cards. Hopefully, Crowback comes. I forgot I had Dene as well left in the deck, so there is still a bench space available. But they could play a second power plant in play. Is like a, the other thought I had here. It's like they could put a power plant in play still. Um, my hand stinks. Um, okay, now we have everything we need though. Uh, Crowbat remained prize. Yeah, so they could put like second power plant in play and then stamp me, and then I'd be like, well, I, I want. Uh, <laughs> I, I want my crowbat to be used so relying on the Dene is probably incorrect and here comes the stamp uh and i'm sure it's being backed up by good old power plant stamp plant would be great here for my opponent so that's kind of what i'm assuming is going to happen here we'll see uh if that's what they go for they might not play two power plant they might only play the one big charm stamp uh is looks like is what is coming down big charm doesn't really matter here i guess they're kind of afraid of a second rusted sword play but yeah they might also not have the what's it called the uh the plant okay so ultimate ray wins us the game here if we can ultimate ray ko this baby vault we need a, a metal energy or an e-switch and then a boss or an escape rope the escape rope is live here because our opponent um there's the boss but then we can't escape rope how many research do i have left three research three boss i think and three escape rope so i think i should just dead a change first and not play the boss yet to keep open the escape rope option i have so many gust effects left that like 
I'm gonna get one of them. There's the escape up. There's the energy. So this works just fine. And we end up with the dub. The second Mawile coming in super clutch here. Ultimate Ray for the KO on the Baby Volk. Uh, without the second Mawile, we were just not, uh, we were not gonna be able to do it. We're not gonna be able to pull this one off. But second Mawile comes in, gets that Baby Volk on the bench. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have used the first Mawile when I did, to be honest. But the true savior here is my opponent bumping the power plant don't do that if you play up against the adp station they love the denenes and the mawile is super important in this matchup because once you get that scoop up net play which my opponent was probably a little bit fortunate to have gotten it off the my marnie and then they weldered into their scoop up net they didn't greens for it of course um but once you get that get that baby volk out of play it's super easy for them to kind of take over the game as greens are but um i can mawile if you don't got power plant play so play greens hard keep your power plant and play against the adps unless you really need a bump it. i don't think they need to do it quite then though all right, here we go again. My opponent going first. So that opens up that turn one GX attack possibility. Not with a hand like this, though. This kind of hand has no possibilities, no options, no outs. This hand stinks. Uh, this is one of those <laughs> really bad hands up against Eternatus, it looks like. So we're probably looking for some kind of boss stall play off the rip here. Hopefully they bench something we can boss up and stall. Because currently they got Uvital's Fear Retreat and an Eternatus that they're probably going to put an energy on. Um, so here comes a calm gonna go ahead and just make a bet crowbat is on the way look out um yep there's crowbat gonna draw them some cards so yeah boss eternatus attach pass um he's gonna be our move uh or not boss eternatus boss the crowbat actually if they bench another eternatus no we'd probably still boss the crow well i don't know which one i'd want to boss to be honest we're gonna boss the crowbat now though draw into another metal energy so attach active boss the crowbat force them to need to switch on the next turn as well as you know full bench <laughs> what is this draw <laughs> two more while another metal saucer to go with it looking good um so yeah rough start uh for sure and who knows we might just go ahead and lose this turn um off the rip here yeah rough draw off the rip looking bad can we pull it out maybe our opponent needs to whiff that switch card or with the energy i guess they could hit the switch card but with the energy so uh, and we'd love that if they if they whiff the energy but hit the switch card we'd love it if they played the switch card so we could do the same thing where we kind of go boss and look at that they've got almost everything they're short one pokemon in play so to get that one more pokemon we do get knocked out but they could whiff they could just not have it here no here comes a research the chance of them whiffing a pokemon is basically zero um and hey there's the pokemon so turn two donk here on our zation feels bad man but you know sometimes it happens sometimes you just don't draw your basics or stuff like that um i guess they were just doing the math there making sure they were doing it enough <laughs> better safe than sorry better safe than sorry always count count your damage don't just assume that's what i do too often and then i miss Let's see if we can't get get a dub in the last one here all right here we go again getting into another one uh i did add a swell to the list i cut a cherish ball i was like you know what there's kind of a lot of a lot of power plants we get two power plants in a row um which is like hella rude so i went ahead and i actually added in a uh <laughs> chaotic swell so if you see that in the list that's why all right is Asian start great we got the quick ball for the thing our opponent mulligan as well so we'll get a little bit of insight on what our opponents rock in here and it looks like toga kiss kabu metal i what who what who i'm excited let's see what they're playing it looks like probably some kind of bronzong toga kiss Cheryl deck. All right, my nose is kind of itchy, which is going to be interesting. Let's see, uh, let's see how it goes for them. And yeah, there it is, Bronzor. Look at that. All right, gonna get rid of this. Gonna grab myself one of those ADP guys. I doubt they play Crushing Hammer, so I'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive with the Water Energy, and then go ahead and hit the Intrepid Sword. That is Squad right there. We got the whole Squad cooking. I uh, could have gone for a turn one. As I itch my nose again, could have gone for a turn one Mawa with the other Quick Ball. Didn't seem like it was gonna be that. It didn't have a high potential to hit i don't think um i mean i don't know i guess about as high potential as any but um anytime any moment whatever seems fine to not though they don't like playing against adp apparently though and we uh go to get a good old free dub here <laughs> as they concede or their hand is dead i guess one of the two but maybe they just don't like playing against adp i don't like playing against adp all right we're doing it again we won the coin flip so we're gonna go first um although you know grookey coin grass deck box or grass sleeves grass deck box might be really maybe should have gone second um but we'll see how it goes who knows right we'll see i mean i could be wrong but i could be right you know i could be right but i could be wrong but i could be wrong um but we'll see here soon um yeah mulligan off the rip for us here definitely would rather a mulligan than uh you know opening 
Hand's interesting. No energy. Plenty of Maw Wild. I think I will just Maw Wild turn one because we just have two in the hand. Um, I don't really want to Dead I Change Away a Metal Saucer. Metal Saucer is so good. What a good card, you know? What a good card in this deck. So I don't really want to Dead I Change Away a Metal Saucer. So hopefully we top deck an energy or a spinner or something. Just an energy here rare. Uh, and they, mulligan, we, they drew two mulligans. So we're going to go ahead and let's get some... No, <laughs> let's not get any basic Pokemon. And they got a pretty good hand for a turn one here as well. All right. Um, I still really want that energy turn one. So I'm going to go ahead and did I change. I like keeping the second ADP around, though. There's a lot of situations where it becomes really good. I think I'm going to keep it around. Um, I hate to lose the second Mawile, but you know what they say? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So even after the double Mulligan, my opponent still not drawing any of those good cards. Rapid sword, give us a metal. I'm gonna hold the metal, I think. Well, we got the Marnie, so let's take the metal. I was thinking about holding it for a second. I was like, eh, we got the Marnie. We should be fine. So the way this matchup works, or I mean, you guys know how the matchup works, but the way we want to play this matchup, we want to kill that Rillaboom. We want to GX attack and then ultimate Ray KO Rillaboom. So let's see how much knowledge our opponent has of this matchup by whether or not they attach that big charm that they have in their hand to their Rillaboom when they go to Evolve It. If they go to Evolve It this turn, I guess they could choose not to go to Evolve It. That doesn't make a whole ton of sense. So they'll probably go to Evolve It. Um, and then let's see if they attach the big charm there. That is crucial for them to keep their Rillaboom around alive, pumping those energy into play, uh, stuff like that. So let's see how much experience they have with the matchup. Uh, and if they don't, let's see if we can exploit that part uh, or that lack of knowledge from our opponent and apply it to our own uh, game plan to really make things awkward for them. Uh, Rusted Sword is also here, so that's really good. We might attach that next turn. I doubt they play Tool Scrapper. I can't remember the last time I've seen a Tool Scrapper. The thing is, Rusted Sword in this matchup doesn't matter as much because they do play Big Charm, so they can put that on the Mewtwo, which gives it above that 290 damage, which the Brave Blade can hit, but we can, like, soften it up with an Ultimate Ray and then go into a Brave Blade, stuff like that, so... Uh, Big Charm to the active. Now, they have two of them. They have, we saw one in hand, and we know one of them's not prized because one was in hand. Uh, here comes the capture energy. Do they put it on the Rillaboom? Let's find out right here, right now. Rookie down. We're going to evolve it up. I guess they don't have to do it this turn. The problem is, though, if I do Marnie them, which I am about to, <laughs> they will lose. The, the Big Charm's going to go back to the deck, which is not good for them. So no Big Charm on the Rillaboom. That is not good for my opponent. Got the E-Switch. Going to E-Switch this up. Going to play this Marnie. Disrupt that big old hand of theirs. Uh, and get ourselves hopefully an energy for turn. We just want that attachment. It could be a, oh no, no energy. That's so bad. Um, oh my gosh. And we also don't have, well, this is just kind of awful to be honest. We have the boss. We don't have an energy for next turn though either. So we can't ultimate Ray, which we might top deck an energy or a cherish ball or a quick ball or so many other things that we could get. But yeah, this thing is our target. We actually have escape rope though. So if they don't bench another Pokemon, which it is very possible that they don't do, um, I mean, they don't really want to like put the Denny's down or anything like that. So it's, it's possible that if they don't bench another Pokemon here, we can just go ahead and go boss, you know, knock this or escape rope, force it up. We could go boss, but that wouldn't make any sense. We go escape rope, force this up and then, you know, kind of take it out. Um, we'll see though. We'll see what they, uh, man, that is, that energy switch was kind of a lifesaver. Without that, we would have just whiffed. <laughs> that would have been really bad. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can't get this ultimate ray off on this Rillaboom. There's the fourth attachment. I guess we can go KO. They can go fifth and then we can go hit um all right the denny's coming down so escape rope no longer an option so we're looking for top deck energy here we really want to take this Rillaboom out of play limit our opponent's options for the rest of the game they won't get the gx attack next turn which which could be a big deal so we're trying to do that as well take away the gx attack for next turn. actually they bench another mewtwo which means if we ultimate ray ko this one we have the rusted sword here which means then we can just go brave blade ko this on the following turn so we're really hoping to top deck an energy here because it sets up our our game plan so nicely here uh and massive bloom coming in from our opponent at 180 why not right no energy all right so i mean that just kind of sucks <laughs> it just stinks so i think we're just researching i guess losing another metal saucer oh my gosh all right sure why not all right so now we're in a bad spot uh, if we've ever been in a bad spot this is it we didn't hit an energy still <laughs> what what is going on where are my energy i don't like this um air balloon to my goodness air balloon to the dene Okay, hold up. Yeah, air balloon. All right, it's air balloon to Dene. I do want a second Zacian in play, to be honest. I do want to work with two more Zacians to close out this game. I actually probably should have air ballooned this Zacian. That was a mistake. Um, so don't do what I just did, but do something different than what I just did. So we can go quick ball away the research because we're about to die change. We can thin out our deck of this Zacian. 
I'm confident I'm going to get an energy off of this. Uh, did I, did I, like, I just like, we have to here. And I really want another station down. I'm running out of quick ball, so I'm not going to be able to find another station. The air balloon should have been here, though. Got another air balloon, so never punished. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw that down. So once again, I don't think they play tool scrapper. And then ultimate ray, take this knockout. Now, what's going to happen here is my opponent is just going to go, you know, shuffle all your energy back into your deck, which is not very cool, very uncool of my opponent. But we don't really have a a say in it. It's They just kind of get to do it. <laughs> like, we don't get a choice. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have to try and come up with a game plan from there. Uh, we don't have a lot of great options from here. And this is where our opponent can kind of take over the matchup. So they're going to go Rillaboom. Two more energy on the Mewtwo. And then they're going to go uh, you know, full GX attack with a Tropical Hour. All of our energy goes back to our deck. And this is where we want like energy in our discard pile along with Metal Saucers. We have no energy in here. We have two Metal Saucers down. So this is kind of worst case scenario for us. It's not good. Um, it's not good. I'm not going to lie to you guys here. This is not good at all. Uh, we can still win definitely winnable especially now that they put this mewtwo in play because they put this mewtwo in play we definitely have a shot actually to be honest um so that was and they don't have the dragonite in the discard pile yet which is the big attacker to kind of take the one hit ko on my station so that's good as well this hand sucks this hand is not good i keep i keep saying stuff like that but this hand is not very good uh we're gonna escape rope i could just actually grab eldegoss and then use marnie here to kind of disrupt that hand Kind of like the idea of that. And I also want to get this energy in the discard pile and then hopefully draw into one, I think. Uh, escape rope here is just kind of just like, you know, if they send up the Mewtwo, it's like not a six energy Mewtwo. If they send up this, I mean, he's got an energy on to retreat the Rillaboom, so it's not that big of a deal. I kind of assume they're going to send up the Rillaboom here. I'm actually going with the Mewtwo here. So we can actually win this turn. Extremely unlikely. Actually, almost impossible, I think. Hold up. We might go for it. <laughs> I don't think we should. There's two Metal Saucer left. I kind of want to go for it. We really shouldn't go for it, though. And we're not going to. I think we're going to go Goss for that Marnie. Yeah, Goss for the Marnie. And we're going to sit this Zacian in the act. This is why I wanted this Zacian on the bench as well, because it's like something they can't knock out quite yet, or it's harder to knock out. They actually can't knock out this thing either. Uh, they can knock out my Dedenes, though. Um, so yeah, we're going to Goss for the Marnie. Really hoping to hit an energy here. And if we don't hit an energy here off this morning, we're really hoping that the Intrepid Swords kind of do the work instead. So. Ooh, okay. So no energy. <laughs> As you can see, we're lacking on the energy. Okay. Intrepid Sword. Okay. Not bad. They had to be there. In, they had to be there somewhere, right? Okay. So we're set up to win the game on this next turn. Does my opponent have a way to move this? A way to get Dragonite in the discard pile and a way to boss up this Zacian. Because if they don't, this Zacian is coming after this Mewtwo. Um, I guess I could put the other Big Charm on here. Which would be annoying. There's an Air Balloon, so they can't Big Charm it. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Second Air Balloon instead. They're loading it up. Do they have a boss to work with? If not, we're looking pretty good here. Here comes the Mewtwo. Like I said, Dragonite's the only thing that can take the big one hit KO here. Comes a Marnie, though. Um, that means I can't want to KO this Zacian, I believe. They're not going to be able to knock out this Zacian. So that's still good for us. Boss, no energy. That's not good for us. We can't win this turn. We're down our Great Catcher, right? I don't think we have a Great Catcher anymore. Yeah, we're down our Great Catcher. Okay. Energy, boss, that's it. That's game. ADP, doing ADP things. Although it was probably a mistake for my opponent to have ever benched this Mewtwo. Because I can do this. Um, and that means I win the game. And <laughs> we get another double room. All right, I think I got out of my system. I think I'm good on ADP for the next month or so. And then who knows? Maybe when Chilling Rain comes out, ADP will just be bad. Or we can hope, but I doubt it. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, uh, if you're looking to ruin someone's day, ADP is the way to go. See you tomorrow.